Welcome to Music Student 101. This podcast is an asset to today's college-level musician, music professional, or anyone who just wants to know music better. That little bit was from our own Matthew Scott Phillips' String Quartet in Modes, the Dorian Mode. Speaking of modes, you're going to learn about that soon enough, but for right now, let's get into our very first Music Theory 101 segment. We're going to have a discussion on melody and harmony on this segment. Melody and harmony are two of the key elements we'll be dealing with early on in Music Theory. And also, just so you know, most of the principles covered at this stage will be based on westernized or Western European or tonal music as established by Jean-Philippe Rameau's Treatise on Harmony back in 1722. We'll discuss him in future episodes, as well as ethnomusicology, the study of music from other cultures and other parts of the globe. But for right now, let's keep it simple and stick to melody and harmony. Before I begin this discussion, I would urge you to go to our website, musicstudent101.com, And follow along with this discussion. You can click on podcast from the main page. It'll take you to a page where there's a list of podcasts. And this one would, of course, be episode number two, Theory Basics, Melody and Harmony. Here you'll find examples of what we're talking about, visual aids, links, terms, all kinds of goodies. And um, it really is a good aid to follow along to. Anyway, melody is basically a line of music that moves over time. Individual notes, one after the other, that are arranged in various pitches and rhythms to convey different moods. A very basic example of a melody would be the C major scale. That's all the white notes on the piano starting from C. Those notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And back down. And of course, I know that is a scale, uh, but technically it is a melody. Not the most riveting, but a melody no less. Now, I just gave you the letter names for these notes, but let's go ahead and start thinking about scales in terms of numbers, scale degrees. So if we're in the key of C major, for example, our tonic or our starting note will be C. That'll be number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and sing along as you're playing these melodies and exercises. And for a little side note, you know, we're not all Pavarotti, but as you're learning your scales on your instrument, sing along. If you can sing what you play, eventually you'll be able to play what you you can sing or what you come up with. Thereby, you can produce melodies on the fly. You'll hear something, you'll recognize it, you'll be able to reproduce it. This is an invaluable skill for a musician to cultivate. I am not Pavarotti, so I'm not going to make you listen to me sing for every example here. Now, the C major scale is a boring melody at best, so let's come up with one of our own, shall we? Um, very simple, I'm sure it's been done before. These are scale degrees. One, three, five, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. So there's a very basic example of a melody. Now let's get into harmony. So what is a harmony? A harmony occurs when two or more notes occupy the same space in time. To where earlier, for example, I played you a C major scale. I'm going to play the same scale, starting with the same note, that root note of C, but I'm going to throw a harmony on top of it. You hear the difference? What I did was, I started off with scale degree one, or the root. One, two, three. So I'm going to use that major third as the basis of my harmony. Now listen as this new melody ascends in parallel motion with the original melody. And that, my friends, is the sound of a C major scale accompanied by a harmony of the third. In this case, a major third, because it is based on the C major scale. It ascends in parallel motion with that scale and follows at a distance closely related to that major third interval. What's an interval? I thought you'd never ask. Now, an interval is this space in between the two notes. So in this case, you're hearing the interval of a major third, that is the distance between scale degrees one and three in the major scale. If we were in key of C minor, we'd be flattening that third, and it would sound like that. So that was a little uh, demonstration of an interval, the space between two notes. We have a podcast coming up very soon about intervals. 
Now let's get back to our harmony. That was a major third, and let's build on it. Let's add another note, shall we? There's the fifth. So we have scale degrees one, three, five, three, one in major. So what we've done is we've gone from a simple interval, that of a major third, to a chord, a major triad in this case. A triad because there are three notes, and major because that is the quality of the chord. Here's that chord as a melody. And now as a harmony, or a block chord. So now you know what melody is, and you know what harmony is. Let's stick the two together. Let's take that melody we came up with earlier. And we'll see what it sounds like when accompanied by a harmony of the third, a third above it, moving in parallel motion. Here it is. So beautiful. Now don't get all choked up just yet because there's more to come. Let's actually take that same melody. We're going to take that and nix the harmony of the third, and we're going to add chords underneath it. We're going to add major triads that are related to the key that we're in, key of C. Check it out. And there you have it, a melody accompanied by a harmony. And sometimes they can affect each other. For example, I'll play the same melody. With a different harmony. Now compared to that first example that we did, that really changed the overall mood, didn't it? Uh, same melody with a different harmony. So try that sometimes. If you're coming up with one of your own pieces, your own melodies, play that melody with some chords, and then change the chords. Same melody. See what it does. You know, you might come up with something that you really like. Okay, well, I think it's time we go ahead and had a recap of some of the new terms that we learned here. Melody is a succession or arrangement of notes forming a distinctive sequence or theme, often repeated or revisited throughout the piece. This is the horizontal aspect of music. A harmony is the vertical aspect of music. It occurs when two or more notes occupy the same space and time. A scale is the pattern of notes arranged in whole steps and half steps that span within an octave of the root note. An interval is the space between two notes or the difference in pitch between two notes. A triad is a basic three note harmony consisting of the root, the third, and the fifth. There are four main types of triads. We haven't really discussed them so much in this lesson, but um, just to give you a heads up, that would be major, minor, augmented, and diminished. We'll talk about the differences later on. And then of course you have the chord, which is Anytime you have three or more notes occupying the same space and time, a triad is specifically three notes, a chord can be more. All right, well that concludes our discussion on melody and harmony. We didn't want to throw too much at you at one time, so we're gonna call it a day right here. And part two of our fundamental series will be Matt Phillips discussing the elements of rhythm with you, and I think you'll find that to be a very useful episode. Look to our website, musicstudio101.com for examples, show notes, catalogs, bios, all that good stuff. Talk to you soon. For questions or comments, please email us at info at musicstudent101.com. <laughs>